I smoked a lot of different weed throughout the years. There's a ton of different cannabis strains out there. There's a lot of different colors in the cannabis world. And something that I've learned is a lot of people think that purple bud is the best. Most bud is green. Most weed is green. So when you see other colors like reds and purples and blacks, you tend to think they're better or they're different because you don't see them as often. I've heard a lot of people talk about how purple weed is the best weed and they only smoke purple, and they might be under the impression that purple buds are better. But is purple weed actually better than green weed? Well, let's talk about this. This is something I was discussing on my Twitch stream the other day. You should definitely come smoke with me on Twitch. But there's a lot of people out there that think purple weed is the best of the best weed. And while purple weed can be good, it doesn't necessarily determine the quality. Just because it's purple doesn't mean it's good. Sure, you can have purple weed that's better than your average quality, but you can also have purple weed that's below your average quality because you didn't do a good job growing it. Just because it's purple doesn't mean it's dank. There's actually a lot of factors that go into making weed purple. Sure, there's different genetics, different phenotypes. You can have the same strain of cannabis and one phenotype grows a nice lush green and you have another phenotype that comes out a nice, beautiful purple. Same strain, but different phenotypes might give you different colors. People also adjust the temperatures in their flowering stage when they're growing. They make it cooler in the evening times or cooler when their lights are off to help break down the chlorophyll in their plant and show that purple color that's present in apparently a lot of plants. I've heard growers say that you can make any plant become purple, that all weed has purple in it to some extent. But I've also heard conflicting reports and people say that. No matter what you do, you can't get everything purple. But some things just grow naturally purple. You don't want to have to do a bunch of tricks in your grow room to come out with purple bud. You just want to put all your time and effort into growing the best stuff. And if the genetics are purple, they're purple. The purple color doesn't actually speak to the quality. It's not more potent because it's purple. It's not more flavorful because it's purple. They either did some tricks in the grow or the genetics just make the plant purple. I actually looked into this a little bit before the video. Some people say that you could put like food dye in your soil or in your hydroponic water to make your plant purple. But I don't really know if that's true and I wouldn't want to smoke any weed with food coloring or food dye in it, something like that. But I did see this video where somebody cut the stem of like a rose or something into four little lines and they put it into different water cups with different color food dye in it and the petals change different colors and somebody told me that you can do the same thing with weed as long as it's chopped it'll just suck up that color it's not going to make your weed better it's just going to give you some colorful weed that you can take a picture of and throw away immediately after because it's trash I will say some of the best weed that I've ever had was nice and colorful weed. I've seen some buds where they're almost blue. I've seen stuff with tons of orange hairs. It just makes the whole bud look orange. I've seen red buds before. I've even seen black weed. I think it's just like purple that's so, so dark that it looks black. But you can get strains out there that just have a variety of colors. I think it definitely looks cool. It's great for pictures, but that's not necessarily a factor in the quality because I've also had some really, really good buds, some of the best I've ever had where it was just regular green looking bud. But I remember the first time I got purple weed, I went to go visit the plug, see what was available. He showed me two options, some regular stuff that I had been getting. And then there was some purple stuff that was like a little bit more for the eighth of the quarter or whatever. Back in the day, a lot of people would charge more for purple stuff. And some dispensaries even do it. They charge more for the colorful stuff, the stuff with more bag appeal. They're going to tell you it's better and charge you more for it. Not everybody's doing it, but some places are definitely doing it. But the first time I ever got it, I was stoked because I hadn't seen purple before. I think it was Granddaddy Purple or one of those classic ones. There's a lot of strains that grow purple. And they're very popular. Some are more purple than others because the purple can be different between the strains. Some of them, the buds get purple. Some of them, they get little spots of purple here and there. Some of them, the leaves get purple instead of the buds. And some strains, everything gets purple. The leaves, the whole bud, everything just looks really purple. The most purple weed I've ever seen, I was at a med shop in Colorado Springs years ago, and this shit was like screaming at me. It was so purple. I don't know how to explain it. I walked into the dispensary and they probably had like 50 different jars. This is one of those places. It's like, yeah, we got more strains than everybody. And just all I could see was just, it's a wall of green and there's a giant bright purple spot in the middle of it. This place was cool because a lot of places had their weed down on the shelf but they had it like up so it was all at eye level with me and i remember just walking in and looking at this giant jar of all purple weed it looked fake purple the leaves were purple the bud was purple it literally looked photoshop but i'm looking at it like in real life like, how is this so fucking purple i'm super stoked i bought some of it went home and smoked it 
It was trash. It was dog shit. So fucking harsh. Some of the worst hits I ever got. I think they were trying to do weird shit in their grow with that plant to make it purple. I don't think it was natural genetics. It might have been a little bit of natural genetics, but they might have been also trying to do shit to make it purple. I don't know. I never went back there, but I remember that was by far the most purple weed I've ever seen. I think it was called Purple Wreck or something. I can't actually remember, but fuck, it was purple. So at the end of the day, purple weed can be good, but it's not necessarily better because it's purple. It could be worse. When you're picking out your bud, the best thing that you can do is use your nose. Your eyes can help because you're going to see the better looking ones. But your nose really knows. The one that smells the best to you is the one that you want. Trust me. Don't even trust me. Trust your fucking nose. Anyway, if you want to come smoke with me, I do a live smoke session live on Twitch every night after 9 p.m. Eastern. If you have Amazon Prime, you can actually support me for free on Twitch. I get paid if you already have Prime. And some people think that Good Bud's all about it looking good or having a high THC percent. But if you want to find out why percentages don't mean all that much or THC percent isn't the end-all be-all for buying a bud, check out this video right here. I hope you have a lit day, my dudes.